Hello, this is Xbox Ahoy, and this is episode 26 of my Modern Warfare 2 Weapon Guides. In this episode, we're covering the last machine pistol, the TMP. The TMP, or Tactical Machine Pistol, is a fully automatic weapon unlocked at level 58. The TMP was designed by Austrian company Steyr in the early 90s. It fires the NATO standard pistol cartridge, the 9x19mm Parabellum round. The TMP is no longer produced. In 2001, the design was sold to Swiss company Baroger & Tomit, who since developed the TMP into their MP9 design. The TMP is renowned for its controllability, allowing for accurate automatic fire, unusual for a machine pistol. In-game, the TMP reflects its real-life stability as it has practically no recoil. Although damage is low, it has a fast rate of fire at 900 rounds per minute. Unfortunately, the fast rate of fire exacerbates the TMP's primary weakness. The magazine capacity of just 15 means you will burn through ammunition very quickly. Accuracy is of the utmost importance. Even with stopping power at long range, you'll need four hits to kill. With a clear shot, this is relatively easy, but with a moving target or one behind cover, you may struggle to kill your opponent before you expend your entire magazine. The TMP is extremely controllable when fired full auto, even at long range. So if engaging a stationary target, don't be afraid to pin the trigger once you've lined up your shot. The near-zero recoil means that the TMP is essentially analogous to the ACR as far as handling is concerned. The red dot is the first attachment you unlock, granting you a precision sight, something which is definitely useful given the small magazine of the TMP. The iron sights certainly aren't bad, in fact they're quite usable, but the red dot helps you make every last shot count. With a sight attached, you can kill out to a surprisingly long range. They definitely help with the accuracy needed at a distance. The holographic sight is similar, there's no real difference between it and the red dot. I preferred the red dot sight as it included less of the target, but if you're playing at a higher resolution or prefer the reticle, the holographic may be more suited to you. Using the silencer means you'll have to become accustomed to the iron sights but the clear yellow front post means that this isn't such a daunting prospect. You lose some clarity, but the iron sights are more than tolerable. The silencer will conceal your position on the minimap, which in team games will often save your life. And in the case of the TMP, the loss in range has minimal effect. It didn't seem to diminish the effectiveness much in my experience. FMJ decreases the damage drop-off through cover when using the TMP. And although FMJ is often useful, I'd advise against it. The short magazines mean that you are much more effective when you place your shots accurately on targets, instead of firing blindly through walls. FMJ would be a better choice than a Kimbo, however. The hipfire accuracy isn't spectacular, and a Kimbo TMPs are tough to use, even with steady aim. The short magazines are even more of a hindrance akimbo. You'd fare much better with akimbo Glock 18s. The TMP suits a far more precise style of shooting. The last attachment addresses the TMP's primary weakness. Extended mags gives you 25 rounds instead of 15. This is a good choice for the TMP, giving you a better chance against multiple enemies without the need for a reload. One thing to be aware is that you can burn through your ammunition very quickly, and without scavenger you only get two magazines, slightly less in fact. Still, extended magazines are probably the best all-round attachment, as there will be times when 15 rounds isn't enough. Whether you're dealing with a group of enemies or you miss a few too many shots, avoiding a premature reload will often save your life. I'd also recommend the optics if you're more confident in your aim, as the red dot will help you place your shots at long range, as well as up close. The 15 round magazines will help avoid expending more than half your ammunition supply in one trigger pull, too. The low ammo count and fast rate of fire means scavenger is essential for the TMP if you plan on getting more than a few kills with it. You'll run dry very quickly otherwise. Although I tend to use the TMP as more of a temporary fallback when I'm out of primary ammunition, the 45 rounds you get without scavenger is more than ample to secure at least three kills, and by that point it should be possible to pick up an enemy weapon. There's no shortage of effective weaponry lying about. UMP-45s and ACRs are very common drops, 
and serve as a good replacement for the TMP once you're in need of a new weapon. For that reason, I'd suggest you run with Sleight of Hand or Marathon instead of Scavenger with the TMP. Particularly if you're playing a mobile class. Enemy weapons are plentiful enough, and the TMP coupled with your primary will normally give you enough ammunition for a longer streak if your accuracy is any good. Stopping power is, as ever, the best choice for any aggressive role utilising the TMP. The fast rate of fire means time to kill isn't affected much, but under duress it can be difficult to get all your shots on target, so the assistance of stopping power can make the difference. Ninja was my usual third perk of choice, being the most effective all-round tier 3 perk for aggressive tactics. Even if you don't have a headset, you can be sure some of your opponents do, so without Ninja, you'll find your footsteps give you away time and time again. The TMP is remarkably controllable and might be the best secondary for long-range engagements. It's the perfect complement to any assault rifle or SMG when you're not using scavenger, giving you an able backup for when you've expended your primary ammunition. It's not a weapon you can run riot with, but you can be confident of securing a kill or two, which is often all you need. A versatile secondary, the TMP will compete up close as well as at middle range. If you're out of primary ammunition, the TMP will reliably carry you over until you can find another weapon. Thanks for watching, this has been Xbox Ahoy. Join me next time when I'll be covering the fourth available light machine gun, the Org H-Bar. Farewell for now.